Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this mini-series, I'm going to walk you through the preferences menu of Adobe Audition. Today, we're looking at appearances. Well, appearances can be everything, and of course, you get the default Adobe Audition view. It looks like that. We're going to change all that in this video. And by the way, if you really like what I'm doing, do hit the like button on this video. Also, remember to subscribe, and it's really important if you want to get every video I'm releasing, I do them weekly, to ding that bell. Right, let's go in here and have a look. This is default Adobe Audition. Over the years, it's changed slightly, obviously from the bright, cool edit days uh, to Adobe taking it over. And now we've got a very kind of dark interface, which is default with many Adobe apps. And the green waveform has stuck with us over time. Uh, so I'm going to open up that preferences menu. Uh, it's in different places. On the Mac, it's in the Adobe Audition menu. Preferences on PC, it's under edit and preferences. And you can go straight to appearance here. Or, of course, you can hit Control or Command, comma on your keyboard. Now, you see, these are the default colors here, but we've got lots of really funky presets. So if I want, I can go for Adobe Gray, which just brightens things up a bit. If you find that interface too dark, Adobe Gray can be quite nice indeed, and you get a nice yellow playhead. It looks very good. Let's go through. We've got the Seattle Blues there. We've got Stealth. And many of these are very, still very great. Look at this one. Easy on the eyes. If you suffer from that uh, uh, exposure to too much color, particularly late at night uh, that disrupts your sleep, go for easy on the eyes. I find that's a nice one. Digerati. Look at this one. This is very glamorous and nice with a bit of pink going through the waveform. Uh, you've got vitamin C as well if you're lacking on your fruit. Uh, that actually looks quite nice. And of course, you can change these colors for yourself to anything you want. So I can turn the playhead to be red just like that, nice big deep red. I can make the waveform selection to be any color in the rainbow here. Look at that, that looks rather nice. And uh, all of these markers and cue markers and everything else can be changed. Waveform selection, I can make that a bit bit of a kind of mauvey pink, purpley like that. Uh, but that's not all. Let's go back to our default view now. Gosh, that felt a little bit psychedelic looking at all those colors. Let's go into general here. And you can change the brightness, of course. If you, Again, if you find Audition too dark, turn up the brightness. Unfortunately, it can only go to 50%. You can't make it bright white. And default will zip it straight back. You've got highlight color, which you cannot change. It's always highlight blue. No matter how you click or try to change that, that unfortunately is not possible to change. You've got interactive controls that, again, you can make lighter or darker or default like that. So your interactive controls that you're working with uh, when you're working with audio and stuff. So if I go into amplitude and compression, amplify like that, it makes those boxes a little bit brighter. Back into appearance, and I'm going to set that back to default. Focus indicators as well. You can move up and down in brightness to change the focus indicators uh, on here. So whenever you're zooming in or out, it will make things a lot brighter for you down here in the tracks and things like that. But generally, with all of this, I do find that it's good to leave everything on default because uh, it kind of works. But if you feel like you want something a little brighter and a little more exciting, just remember that this is all here and all available to you. And you can even customize it to your own needs. Uh, appearances are apparently everything when it comes to editing audio. Um, I've even done a previous video that you might want to go and check out on how to use the appearance part of the preferences menu to make Adobe Audition look like Audacity. That's where you started life editing. You can kind of bring that back into Audition using the appearance menu. Anyway, let me know how you're going to be using this in the comments down below. Are you going to change the appearance or are you happy with the default appearance of Adobe Audition? And remember, if you want to really edit like a pro inside Multitrack, go and check out my presets at mrc.fm forward slash presets. They are specific presets for audio editors, podcast producers and more in Adobe Audition. Available now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Thank <laughs> you.